So last week I jokingly referred to this as Seven Days Meets Quantum Leap, but tonight's episode showcases that they can do one thing neither show could do. Go all the way back. And welcome back to the heart of the stories we tell. A series where I spend way too much time thinking about what makes a story. And today's episode is... Timeless on NBC. And you know what? We jump right into it exactly where the last episode left off. And I give them props for that. A lot of shows would have skipped time. Ha. Ha ha ha. Anyway, their time travel rules seem to be holding pretty solid so far, although I do have a few questions on how things are working and who people are. For the most part, this seems to be a pretty fun and interesting series, so let's get into the specifics of tonight's episode. But first... So once again, it's stop. Spoiler time. Bah, da, na, na. So tonight we set our time machines back and go back to watch the assassination of Abraham Lincoln. And you know what? I'm starting to worry about exactly how much they're changing the timeline and exactly how this is going to play out. However, they change who kills him and who's where and when. It's a pretty confusing episode. But the main theme of it, the main question is, if you knew something bad was about to happen and you did nothing, what would it mean? And if something bad causes something good to happen, does that make the something bad worth happening? If you think about it, having a time machine introduces whole new levels of philosophy to right and wrong. And, of course, you know, how many shows want to go back and kill Hitler? Well, saving Abraham Lincoln is just one step down on the cliché meter. It probably also gives us a pretty good idea of how each member of this team thinks. Not to toot my own horn, but I did explain last week how people surviving on the Hindenburg could theoretically mean that entire relationships were changed. People married the wrong people and the entire genetic lines could be different. And that's exactly what we see. Except we get the twist. The reason that our main character is the same is because she has a different father, meaning she still has the same father in this timeline. I'm wondering if... No, I'm not even going to go into the paradox of her having one of the other main characters be her father. For now, I want to discuss a different part of temporal mechanics, or, well, theoretical temporal mechanics. And that is, does the timeline try to correct itself? How much of it is rubber and how much of it is plywood? Things that don't bend break, things that don't break bend. Well, the fourth dimension is an unknown, the time stream. So it depends on how they write it. I also wonder, though, how much of this is a predestination paradox? For those of you that don't know, a predestination paradox means the end was always coming, no matter what. And I'm starting to think it might be, because they're making all of these changes in the timeline in order for her to write the diary that's going to make the person make these changes in the timeline. I'm curious to see how much they play this up. So much changed in her timeline at the end of the first episode. I hope that that's not the end of this. I really hope that they're going to do more, that we're going to see timelines of the others change as well, and maybe what those repercussions are. But for now, we also have a new character. We have the love interest. We have a fiancé. And now the question becomes, what do you do when you choose? You have a new fiancé and you have a sister you've always known and loved. If you go back in time and save the sister, you never meet the fiancé. So if you fall in love with the fiancé now, oh boy, are you in trouble. On a personal side, for the month of October, I'm running a series of videos every Sunday night into Monday morning, Why We Tell Horror Stories. The first two parts are up now if you want to check them out. In the meantime, why don't you subscribe to my channel so that you can get more of my insane thoughts about stories, including the next episode of this show. Leave me a like and a comment if you'd like, and then join me back here next time as we walk through the heart of the stories we tell. Have a good night.